Hello again guys, Hayden here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a really cool and awesome hidden staircase, so sit back, relax and enjoy. So all you need to do with this is hit the button as you see, and an awesome hidden staircase just pops up out of the ground, and you can do whatever you want in here. You could have a chest full of diamonds, which I have here, or you could have your main base in here, and then another hidden room, leading to another hidden room with like a chest or like a vault room you could do anything you want and then you hit the button and the door closes again and then obviously you hit it again and the staircase goes back up and you can walk out of your room but anyway you're probably thinking this is really hidden apart from that button there's quite a few different things you could do you could remove the button and just make a mark of where to put it so you could just i don't know put a torch there and then you just get rid of the torch and put the button down or you could cover up with a bit of glass like I'm doing here but once you've figured that out I mean it's really hidden so let's get straight into this so first of all you're going to need an 8 by 10 spacing and you're also going to need to dig down 6 so feel free to pause the video and do that and now the resources we're going to need for this build are right here in my inventory you're going to need a sticky piston, some redstone repeaters, redstone torch, some redstone, some honey blocks, slime blocks, spruce wood stairs some concrete I'm using just for this, don't need the, that bit, you need some indestructible blocks, I'm doing obsidian, you're going to need some glass and you're going to need a lever. So once you've got all the resources and dug out your hole, you want to go down to the corner and count on four and then place two pink concrete blocks just like this. And then you want to place four sticky pistons facing towards you and four facing up. And then you want to place some honey blocks and your slime blocks, so place two up and one sticking out on both sides just like this. So now it's time to make your stairs extend so you want to go around the side put two concrete blocks down and put a redstone repeater going into it on the three ticks delay. And then you want to do the same thing that I just did but put the redstone repeater on one tick delay instead of three. And then you want to come forward one and go to the left two. Then you're going to just join these two up and place a redstone repeater here, set it to four ticks delay. Bit of redstone, place a bit of redstone behind it there. And then put redstone there and leave it on one tick. Down a piece of redstone and put it on there. And send it to three ticks delay. Then you're going to grab your lever, put it there. And it should go up and fully retract. Then you want to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to do two like that. In there. There on three ticks delay. Two blocks down like that. Sit it in there on one tick. Join them up, and then like that, and then you're going to put a redstone repeater going into the redstone on four ticks delay, and then put a bit of redstone there with a redstone repeater on one tick delay, a bit of redstone down and a redstone repeater on three ticks delay, and then you want to join it all up from the corners, and then you want to put a lever down, test that it works, and if it does it should look like my one does here, and if it doesn't you're going to have to go back in the video and have a look see what you've done wrong. And then you want to put your stairs on, so any stairs of your choice we're using spruce for this, and you want to put one two, one two, one two, and it should look like that. So staircase extends, and then right here where that lever is, you want to put two like that, there you go. And then you imagine my redstone torch is a lever, it would then look like that. And then that's and it. Now we've just got to set up a few more pieces of redstone around here before we make the hidden area. So you want to grab your glass, you want to place a glass block above this redstone, this redstone, place a bit of redstone on top of the glass, and then place a block in front of the redstone just like that. You want to put a torch on the side of the block, and then in front of both of them. And then place a block up to the side like that. And then you want to put a sticky piston facing inwards. And a sticky piston facing inwards, and they should go forwards like that. Now it's time to get started on the second half of the video, which is going to be the trapdoor. Just let the stairs go up and out. So you're going to come out right from this torch, place one there, sticky piston. And place a block in front of it, get rid of the one from behind, do the same on the other side. Ski piston, block in the side, break the block. Then on top of these two blocks, place a sticky piston facing inwards. And you want to take out your honey blocks and slime blocks. 
and then we have the honey blocks so I put the slime blocks and we have the slime blocks so I put the honey blocks so I've got slime blocks here so I'm going to do honey blocks here so right by that torch I'm going to place five so one two three four five and then I've got my honey blocks on this side so you're going to go one two three four five so make sure wherever the honey blocks are there's slime blocks wherever the slime blocks are there's honey blocks and then you want to place a sticky piston going up into the bottom so two blocks from the corner you want to get rid of them do the same on the other side sticky piston into the slime block and then over here on the right hand side into the block that has a sticky piston we're going to put a repeater so you want to get remember to get rid of that one and going into this you want a redstone repeater on two ticks delay you can put another one there with some redstone on it then you're going to come a block down from here underneath the sticky piston some more redstone place another block right there with some more redstone and then you want to place a redstone repeater down facing that way on one tick delay. And then you want to get any block you want, it doesn't matter what you get. So I thought, why not use light blue glazed terracotta? And you want to place two here like this. And now you want to put two bits of redstone down like I'm doing here. This is very important because any button, lever or redstone torch here will power everything there is in front of you. So if that breaks, the thing won't work. But anyway, you want to copy everything you did on the right hand side and do it on the left. So just copy what I'm doing. Same thing, repeater there. Block, block. Redstone, redstone, two up there, you're going to place a bit of redstone, and then you want to do that, and then you're going to place a repeater on two ticks delay. And then for those of you that are probably trying to test it now, and it's not working, and it's just going out like this, don't worry, it's not broken, don't go back in the video, we just haven't connected it all up yet. So now you want to get any block of your choice, wherever your floor is. So we're using grass as ours is outside. If yours is inside, use the colour of your floor. And you want to place five along on each honey and slime block and then five on top just like this. And now if you click the lever again, the floor should go up. And as you can see, it will be flush with the floor. And if you do it down, there's room for the stairs to go up. But now we just need to connect the stairs to the lever. It's really easy. All you have to do is go down to the right hand side of the build. Put a redstone repeater there and put it on four ticks delay. Then you can put one of them instead of the four tick delay repeater. And then make sure everything's open. Get rid of that. And put a redstone torch there. And that should make your staircase fully open and closed. Now when you flip the lever it should attract everything and put it up. And if you do it again it all closes down. Now this is where you use your obsidian. You don't have to do it but... I just do it so you can't see down the side of the staircase. All you want to do is copy what I'm doing now. You're going to place one there and two there. And then one and do two like that. Now this next part is optional. It's just making a door. You don't have to do it, but who wants to be seeing this? Now you want to get any block you want for your door. We're going to be using this light blue glazed terracotta. And you want to just dig out a three high gap like I'm doing here. So you want to flip this down. And then get your removable objects again you're going to place them right here and then you're going to want to just place whatever you're using i'm using my light blue glaze helicopter and you're going to want to go up and down like that and then you want to place one in there one in there and then sticky pistons facing inwards one up one above and oh, one above and one below same on the other side And now you want to fill in the door with whatever block you want. We're going to use brick block, but it's optional for what you use. Now what you've got to do is hook up the doors to this bit here. Place a redstone torch off the side there, which has a two tick delay repeater. And then just one down, you want to place a block to do a repeater coming out of that torch. And that should turn on. And then you want to place a block in front. Put a torch on top, it should go off. Run on top, piece of redstone on top. And that should now close up the door and now you want to do the same thing on the other side so your redstone block then you want to do a redstone torch on the side of that block you want to do a block down there redstone repeater there it should turn on place a block in front of there redstone torch should turn off block there and put some redstone on there and there you have it You're, you've now got a door 
and you can just place your floor blocks so ours are brick now I'm just going to show you how to put a button into this and now you want to hide up all of this redstone you don't want to put a button but it's going to activate that so you can put a button there and that shouldn't activate anything good so we're going to build a hopper dropper t flip flop and then you want to do just like that put a bit of redstone on there then you're going to put your hopper dropper t flip flops you want to just you want to dig out a bit more room you want to go down one block from there and put your dropper there and then like this you want to place a dropper facing downwards from there so you crouch place like that and then you want to place another dropper going into that one like that then you want to get your hopper this one's funneling to that one that one's funneling into nothing at the moment and that one's going into that one so you want to now put a hopper to crouch then click on that if you don't crouch it won't work so you've got to crouch click on it and it should then look like that you want to get one item one non-stackable item and you want to put some redstone down on top of it place a redstone comparator down there and then you want to put your wooden sword in there and it should activate the door then if you hit your button door opens up hit it again it's all closed now you want to set up another button for the outside so you want to come down here you want to break this block do not break that one because that's what your beater is against so you want to go around it just like this and then you want to place a redstone repeater going into this block and the line of redstone with a redstone repeater at the end so now you want to just copy what i'm doing here with the redstone Be like that and that's where our button's going to be so let's go and have a look where that will be uh, it's not too far away so you want to place block over there button there and it completely closes so now you want to go ahead and hide all the redstone up and you hit your button ground opens up and you go down here and then you need to get the floor that you're using so we are using brick so you want to get a bit of brick then you want to get a slab of whatever you're using because otherwise it will cut this off won't it so you want to place a slab there and then you're good like that so so many different blocks for stairs you can use so we're just going to show you a couple different ones to give you an idea of what you could do yourself we did different stairs we did quartz and we had different lanterns like that so it looks like this i'm really happy with our design you would make it bigger and chuck a chest in there and everything and then when you're ready you close it back up just to make sure there's no one watching because you don't want them finding your base that's pretty much it for the video thank you guys so much for watching sorry about the audio on that one i filmed this like three months ago and it's just really bad audio quality but anyway guys that's pretty much it for the video thank you guys so much for watching Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and enable those notifications, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!